What's happening, guys? You are now locked into the Say It With Chess podcast with your hosts, Ethan Port and Walsh, the DJ. Got some very special guests in the building today. They've been on the podcast before. Had to invite them on again. DJ ADK. Original. Yeah, yeah. Put your hands in up. In the building. There you go. And we've got <laughs> DJ ADOT, of <laughs> course. What up, what up, what up. Had to bring him on again for the bants. You know what I'm saying? Um, just going to need to apologise for the one camera angle today. Um, I asked ADK to bring his ring light and all that type of stuff, and he decided to not bring it with, well, bring it without the phone holder. So he would blame me and say that the host needs to have all the equipment, but I'm going to blame him. But it doesn't matter, does it? Because we're shooting in 4K. Come on. Make sure that you're not on Talk to Internet because you will benefit from the 4K. Get thank me. you very much. Next week, we're going to have two camera angles again. Um, I'm going to sort it out, and you're going to get it both in 4K. Mm, yeah. Mm-hmm. We move. Oh. So, ADK. Talk we, to me. What have you been up to, man? What have you been, up to? What have you been doing? Yeah. Bro, working. Is it? Is that why you haven't been on the podcast for so long? You've been like, I'm not playing on the podcast. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. It's been busy, bruv. Busy doing what, bro? Busy, man. Hustling. Hustling. That's it, mate. That's actually all you do, isn't it? Yeah, bro. That's all I do. Hustling. You've got bare like, jobs, bro. Hey, Dot, what you been up to? <laughs> <laughs> you man, alright. This, guy, this guy's been finding receipts. That's what he's been doing. Uh, <laughs> yo, quick question. Why are you, man, locking eyes like that? What's going on? Who? Adot? Who? You two. Like, no, what, no, what no, are you no, not no, telling no, us, man? Private bro. WhatsApp messages. Is this, is this, yeah. oh, is this, is this how we're starting it? Mm. They're trying to send us, they're trying to send us no, they're, they're yeah. trying. They're trying. It's mad because I said I wasn't gonna, but I will start. I'll start <laughs> early, bruv. I'll start, <laughs> <laughs> start <laughs> early. Before you start trying to break us down, before we're gonna actually break you so down. We, yeah. so, so we've got the Dudleys over there and we've got the yeah. Hardys over yeah. here. Oh, yeah. You just relax. There we yeah. go. <laughs> Phil and Grant Mitchell, yeah? Let them have their peace. Anyway. Hey, Doc, what have you been doing? Uh, well, going back to the clubs now, isn't it? So, yeah. yeah, I've been gigging. I've been on the road. Um, Man said I've been on the road. Like bro, his, literally. Like he's Wiz Khalifa, you know? Bro, I've... <laughs> <laughs> like he got a tour bus. Bro, do, you know, do you know what my family called me? They called me the neighbour, bro. I come home to sleep and I'm back out again. So, literally, um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I come back Tuesday morning. You know what I mean? Real grander. Is this, was, this was bank holiday, yeah? Last bank, last weekend, yeah, bank mm, holiday. Yeah. Um, I can't lie. It kind of felt like... Like the old school days, basically. Yeah, Don't yeah, lie, yeah. bruv. You was tired, bruv. I'm not going to lie to you. I wasn't tired. I'll tell you why. Because I slept good before driving after the club. I didn't even stay at the hotel. I literally DJed Monday night and I came straight back. Mm. Even though I had a hotel booked until Tuesday morning. So what's the vibes been like in the club? Obviously, some people haven't, uh, some DJs haven't had the chance to go back to club uh, the clubs yet. And some people haven't even probably gone to the clubs. I haven't got their vaccine. Maybe yeah. don't want to go, whatever. What's the vibe like? Has it, has it changed? Would you yeah, say? Yeah, it's changed. it's changed a lot. Um, obviously people see it now yeah they got to come in wearing their masks they look like doctors it's mad but do you feel like they're more what I'm trying to say is do you feel like they're more up for it now or they're not 100% like I mean you're not all DJs so you understand what I'm trying to say people didn't want to come out to the clubs anymore just before lockdown they want to go to like festivals and you know yeah. brunches and whatever mm. and I felt like the vibe in the club was just dying slowly yeah. I yeah. felt like this is obviously the reset we needed but now because they've not had the clubs for so long mm-hmm. Any chance for them to go, they'll go. They want it. And yeah, I can't lie. Obviously, my, my boss is like, look, there's no restrictions in the sense of like music and whatever. Yeah. Just enjoy yourself. Do what you got to do. Yeah. There's no restrictions in terms of what I can play. Mm-hmm. And yeah, bro. Like, I, I literally played from Sweet Caroline to Body. I played everything. And obviously, I'm an urban DJ, so I shouldn't <laughs> normally play that. But the thing is, if the crowd want it, just give it to them. Bro, that's, this is the that's only times where... Legit, yeah, that's the signs of a real DJ, someone that's going to go out of their comfort zone and play for exactly, the people exactly. rather than stick in their comfort zone and go, oh, I'm just going to play urban. You know what I'm saying? So, that's what I'm saying. Because I've realised like, this was like the first Monday we went back. Mm. The crowd that I had in my room was not urban. Even though I was booked to play urban songs, mm. they weren't urban. And I was like to my boss, look, can I change it? He goes, yeah, yeah do what you got to do. And when I changed it, the mood literally changed and I knew yeah everything i was thinking was right um and then obviously going forward you know the friday and obviously the last week as well mm. i literally played across all genres <laughs> you're right there, mate yeah bruv you need to talk into the mic yeah, big man what i'm saying bruv i'm talking big to man. you you're not <laughs> big man you lot can hear me right <laughs> nah <laughs> oh, yeah, anyone that's watching we had to cut off the last one yeah this is our second <laughs> take <laughs> Bruv. Well, she was not having it. He's like, no, you're not Bro, talking to the mic. Listen, keep your jaw there. And if you've got to look at man, use your eyeballs. But if, you're looking at, if you're looking at a man, just look and go, mm. and then go back to the mic. Yeah, that's it. 
Check, check, one. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> He's <good>. a <laughs> madman. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. But yeah, life's been good, bro. Um, I can't complain, innit? Yeah. Mm. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And he's still doing it. Shut up. Praise the Lord. Yeah. Holy man. Holy you know man. what? I'll talk like this. Oh. Like that. Well, she, what have you been up to? Since? Yeah. Active as well, bro. I'm still getting used to the bank holidays because they always mess us up as mm. DJs, you know? Um, so I actually um, took my Sunday gig off, actually, because um, I wanted to go check out an event. I remember on the previous podcast, I said that I kind of want to take some more time out going checking out other events and other DJs. Mm. And I, I got to Saturday and I, just, I was contemplating whether to go to my gig on Sunday or not. And I was just like, oh, I'm just a bit tired. So I just went to chill, had a barbecue, and then I went to this event. Yeah. And in the end, I actually went down to where I was supposed to be DJing and didn't even DJ. I just went for some food. But yeah, that, Were the DJs good on the night? What? Hmm? Well, who was playing? Who? <laughs> what? I'm lost. <laughs> what, what? Where, where so you just asked the question, <laughs> you look at ADK. Where, where oh, was what? it? Huh? Who was it playing? I weren't playing. No, I know you weren't. So why are you looking at me for, bro? <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm just asking for <laughs> questions. We are here today. We are bro, we're today. starting early. All right. Is that how we're going we're down? We're starting already? early. It's, it's all right. It's getting it's all right. Out of here. Shots are Someone Jesus. actually did tell me that all you can play is dance all. Yeah, bro. Wow. That's true. Wow. 100%, bro. 100%. You know, I rate really. you. You smoke crack. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I was not expecting that. You know, what? I literally, just you said it and looked straight at ADK. I was oh, no, like, I'm just being Whoa. a bit. I'm just being rude. Yeah, it took today, me five man. seconds to like get it. I was confused. Listen, I was like, "What's going on listen, here?" We only got one camera angle. We're just going crazy today. <laughs> Fuck it. Bullets everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> pew pew. <laughs> <laughs> no bulletproof vest all right trust me well trust me. seeing as none of you guys are gonna ask me what i've been doing no i'm gonna fucking shit. tell y'all Talk to us. <laughs> i'm gonna tell <laughs> you anyway no, let me ask you the <laughs> all right so mr host yeah how's your weekend what do you, what do you get up to uh, uh you do that one more time i'm gonna put you in the deadest headlock <laughs> yeah what turn your you mic towards your mouth? mouth why is the mic facing towards fucking stratford <laughs> I mean, will come towards me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Face it, Ilford, bro. What are you talking about? <laughs> it, it's it's where Chris is. It's my Chris. Oh. <laughs> He's bringing up the tracksuits. <laughs> hey, listen, listen. Yo, I Chris. I didn't say the tracksuits. I did not say that. You man Yo, mentioned wait, the tracksuits. So wait, wait. What do you? I don't understand what you're talking about. What do you mean by the tracksuits? What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? What do you mean? What, what do you mean? mean? What do you mean? Man tried to get at me, so I said to him, "This all on with your, tra- your Ilford tracksuit, bro." What's the Ilford tracksuit? <laughs> bro, if you know about Ilford Market, <laughs> years ago, you know they used to have some book tracksuits. <laughs> so, <laughs> alright, Chris, take this one on the chin, bro. This is promo for your next event, G. <laughs> yeah, right, like, dudes. Oh, it, was no hard fe- it was no hard feelings, but boy, nah, it's all bad. I, I just, it's all I, I, I just had to. So Ilford tracksuits like fake tracksuits. Bro, they were just clapped. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. They were just straight clapped. Anyways, I'm going to ask you a question. <laughs> yeah. That went so left, yeah, honestly. Mad left. Mm. Anyway. Um, <laughs> no, wait, wait, wait. What have been... what you been up to, brother? All right, so I'm going to tell you. That's the question. I, actually so, I know, I know. <laughs> um, I'm up to Friday, my boy Adot brought me onto a gig in Brighton at Shoosh. Appreciate it. It's very nice of you. Um, and I got to again. catch up on Blue Therapy. I don't know if you guys watched that. Who watches Blue Therapy? Here? Yeah, it's a bit mad. I can't lie. It's a bit mad, isn't it? You man have got time on your hands, bro. You don't know what Blue TV Therapy is. And all of them t- I ain't oh, got I time watch, for I none of TV, that. I watch TV, but it has to be just football. So you don't know what Blue Therapy is? No, no, I've heard of it, but I don't watch it. I mean, I watch EastEnders, but so on the phone. That's it. Basically, Blue Therapy is a show um, where they've got, uh, what do you call them? Relationship problems? Yeah, like... Uh, they go to a therapist. Uh, yeah, therapist. Is it yeah. the black boy? The black boy and the black girl? Oh, mm. yeah. And they went yeah, on. Yeah, and yeah, she was like, two when was the last time you fucked me? Is it that one? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They've been oh. making loads of memes yeah, on, yeah, on yeah. Instagram. Yeah. I see that so, one. I've, yeah. I've, 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 I've seen the memes. Bro, there's like four episodes. You need to catch up on that. Levels. I mean, I mean off yeah. the ba- off the back of the memes, I actually went and checked it out, and I can't lie, it's funny. It's it's good. It's funny. It's good. Still. It's good. So what it's is it? Actual real couples. So it's real couples, yeah. and they've got problems, and they're trying yeah. to fix it by going to this therapist. But the couples are so fucked. Like, no, they're just real. Or, or, or it's just real. It's it's real life stuff for real. But there's always one of the couples between between well one person in the couple that's so tapped. Yeah. But now I've actually clocked here. You know the uh, Deborah and the other guy. Deborah's a skinny black girl, right? Yeah. The yeah. Mo- yeah. Yeah. They're yeah. both yeah. tapped. Both, no, no. Yeah. He's I saw I saw her one actually where she was like she expects everything and he's like and he looked at her yeah like, so everyone was on his side at yeah. the start yeah um and then he's just been doing and just been mad shady mad shady sometimes I was like oh do you know she's is, a bit extra when you say shady what sense so basically 
it turns out we're going to see on the next episode, which is tomorrow, uh, that he's been banging someone else. He was with his ex because he's his he trains his ex, and she was cool with it. She was like, "Oh, do you know what? She's a nice girl, or whatever." Trainers okay. in what workout? Like he, yeah, yeah workouts, he's, he's yeah, a he's personal a trainer. Oh, okay. So, yeah. but it turns out that he's been doing a madness in it. Oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, he's but, been doing a madness. Uh, okay. So, uh, mad, mad, mad. She she shouldn't trust him. So they're both tapped. Loki. And no. hold on, is the cameras following him? Like when he's doing all this stuff? No, no, no. They're just talking about it and just opening up and stuff. No, they're literally just like in a studio with a therapist. Mm. They're both on like the the sofa yeah. and they're just like going through their problems. Yeah. You no. need to watch it. I can't like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You got you got Chiroma and Paul. Can't, Paul can't. doesn't want to have sex. So what you was talking about, uh, Paul doesn't want to have sex with her. He's trying to say that she's fat and all this type of shit. Hold on, but the basically girl, that's what he said. Girlfriend, we've not seen that episode. I ain't seen episode five yet. No. No, it's not even done that, bro. It's hold on, before hold on. that. Are they a couple? Sure? Yeah. yeah, he's like, yeah. she's like, why don't you want to? And, and he's like, oh, you know, have you been watching your weight, blah blah, and all this type of shit. Nah, that's staged. I can't lie. Hold on a second. Hold on, hold on. You can't, can't tell it. it. You can't tell your couple, missus yeah. about she got to watch her weight and all. And you know, oh, what's he's mad? like, he's like, when is the last time you weighed yourself? Like, we're, since we're, he's like, we're on, we're on this topic. He said it's on TV. Talking. Yeah. Yeah. So when, when is like the last time you weighed yourself? And because he's like, I weigh myself all the time, blah blah. This, this what don't make sense. If, if, so they're a couple, yeah. Yeah, they're together officially. Yeah. yeah. So why are you with her if you if you don't like her weight but you don't have sex with her? It don't make sense. Bro, I'll be Bruv, she stuck it on him. When was the last time you fucked me? Yeah, she was going on. Hey, listen, if she was going. If off. your girl turned around and said that to you, you, you need to get up and walk away, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so this actually leads not on. a realness. Yeah, unless you're gay. And you're a boyfriend, I guess. <laughs> Can you imagine that, bro? It's <laughs> not. Yeah, <laughs> this actually leads on to the. Uh, the, the point I'm trying to get at, yeah. So obviously their sex life is a bit rocky, yeah? <laughs> Titanic, yeah? A bit leave it. So, <laughs> oh, this is nuts. This I nuts. was speaking to a friend. You got friends? Yeah, I was speaking to a friend the other day. <laughs> I'm not going to do no names, yeah? But he it's was right. like, Chris. he was like, I was like, well, would you do extracurriculum, <laughs> extracurricular activities in the bedroom, yeah. It's Things like that are out of the well, blue. Well, like acrobats and shit. That are out of the blue. It's about yeah, to go left. To is it to <laughs> spice up your sex life, yeah? And he told me, yeah, that he's had he said his his booty licked, yeah. What? Yeah. So what I want to ask you guys is, yeah, don't ask me. Would you go? Don't down, ask me. Would you? I'm asking don't you. ask me. Listen, <laughs> the reason I, I don't just, ask just for me. anyone that's watching, the reason I actually brought ADK. And A dot here is because they're the maddest guys, yeah. And their replies to something like this will be a mazar. Yeah. So you can't come and tell me that you're not going to answer. You're going to answer this, yeah. Would you do extracurricular activities, things that are outside the box, yeah? Toes, I don't know, bum hole, whatever, I don't know. Would you do all that stuff to save your no fuck save that. your relationship? No way, you're mad. Save your relationship. Nah, bro, fuck that. No way. <laughs> Go on, girl. Go. <laughs> <laughs> there's no way, bro. <laughs> but no, but no, but listen, there's no but. There's right, no. This right. is a no. Would you do it? You know, wait, wait, wait. No, I, I'm the host. I'm <laughs> no, asking. No, I'm, I'm asking, asking you. First. Or would you do it? But I'm asking first. I'll answer it. I'll answer it. Right. But I'm asking first. No. Yeah. <laughs> but why would it? Right, if it's gonna save your, you've been with your girl uh, for. I don't give. How long have you been with your girl? Rats batty, bro. I am not licking no toes, no batty, no nothing. Ears, all, right. all that. Nah. So hold nah. On. So hold on. If your girl's, I don't know, giving you head, and she's down to your balls. And then she thought, fuck it, let me just lick his bum. What are you going to do? I'll punch in the face. One of them donkey punches. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to say, bruv? Nah, 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 nah. Hadouken! Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, I'm telling you, bruv. No way. No way. Chai. Yeah, A dot a might be one of them freaky nah, guys, bro. I don't bro. know, bro. You might be into that, bro. Listen, I'm a freaky guy, but no one's licking my bum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Freaky girl, I them girl <laughs> love me love. With that. <laughs> what's the what's the what would you say is the freakiest thing you've done then, A dot, mate? We can't talk about that. <laughs> but none of that. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on. When I say freaky, I'm not talking like like getting my bum hole licked and fingered and all that bullshit. None of that. Okay. But when I say freaky, I'm talking like banging a. <laughs> Crazy locations, crazy positions, that w kind of stuff. Would you say you're as fruity as your shirt? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, listen, you see me? When girls talk, talk listen, when you get to know a girl and she yeah. turns around to me and says she's freaky, yeah. I don't think she's met me. I'll turn around and I'm like, I don't think you've met me yet. I will spice up your life. Mad thing. Wow. And that's a fact. So ladies. Love the confidence. Fuck you know, Trey songs. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boshi. Oh, 
I want to hear this. Well, she's going to turn around and be like, well, I, I can't lie. This. Yeah. About no. two years ago. <laughs> Listen, one no, thing. you know what? Big man thing, I've tried it. Yeah, tried but I haven't done it. I've had it. Like, yeah, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Do you want to elaborate? There's no there. way. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you want to elaborate in case that the listeners um getting confu- get confused? What's confused? That? Do you want to rephrase the question? <laughs> no, 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 no. He said quite a few things. So clarify exactly what you meant. Well, there. why don't you ask? Seeing as that you no, don't he, know where it is. I know where it is because I know you. Well, ask it. <laughs> He's asking the question. Okay. <laughs> ask it. Let's go. Ask him. The question again. Oh, would you would you let a girl look your bum? Yeah, hundred percent. That's it then. No, no. Yeah, but, but oh, listen, no, no, no. I'm not even being rude or racist yet, but white guys like all of that mad thing. Whoa, 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 <laughs> no, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, I'm just being whoa, real. Whoa. But, I, but, up... the, but the, hold up. Hold up, rude boy. Yeah? <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I have, a, I have a friend that's black and he's done all that. That's like that's like me saying yeah. black men, yeah, are into toe fetishes, yeah? Because I know quite a few that do that still. Them men are weird, bruv. <laughs> well then. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair, I know some black guys that are mad and they'll do all of that. Batty licking, toe licking, <laughs> all of that, bruv. Like, they're into all the letting girls do this. So, uh, it's mad. Okay, but... No, no, okay. no, no, no. Wait, wait, would you me, allow let, it? Let, let me, no, would let me, you wait, allow wait, it? Wait, wait, let me say something quickly, yeah? We all used to be in school days, yeah? And we was like... Bo-cat, bo-cat, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that was a big yeah? thing in school. That was a big thing, mm, yeah? There's yeah. no one that's going to sit here and tell me right now. They were like, no, no, no. Everyone here was like, bo-cat, 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 yeah? Mm. We was all saying that. I can't confirm who in here because I've never asked this question to you guys, but I'm sure majority, if not all, have done something like that. Yeah. Nope. What? What? You've never licked pussy. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> have you never? <sighs> like your girls never asked you or even try hint. What's going on? ADK, what? Bro, Let what, me. What can I, can I ask you a question? Like big man ting. Like, do you even have sex? What are you offering <laughs> in the bedroom? <laughs> what are you? What are you offering other than wood levels? Like big man ting. Bruv, you see me. <laughs> I'm not one of these brothers. You see some of these brothers that come in and be like, yeah, man won't do this, it's nasty. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not saying none of that. You see, what all I'm saying is, is that I ain't done it. Yeah. What, never is in that, life. Is It's that, not that is because that... I don't want to. It's just because I'm, when I'm ready to do something, I'll do it. <laughs> yeah. So is that, is that, is that no, you no, basically no, wait, wait. saying that you will eventually do it? Yeah, if the time's right, I'll do it. Okay. I'm not okay, saying I won't okay, do it. Okay. I'm just saying, yeah. like, when I'm ready to do something, you know, okay. you lot know me. If yeah. I'm ready to do something, I'll do it. Yeah. If I want to go and do a madness, I'll go and do a madness. If I want to go and okay. do something good, I'll do so something my good. my point of this is, originally, well, at some stage of your life, you was like, I would never do that. Yeah. Like all of us probably did say. Yeah. Yeah, back in the day. But you changed your mind. So what makes you think that you wouldn't change your mind? Brother, I will not change my mind <laughs> from <laughs> Brother, someone you can, you, licking you can my never back, say bro. never. No. You can never say no. never. No. Never say never. Brother, I'm oldest in the room, bruv. I'm sure... That if I haven't done all these things already, I, I wouldn't have done them. I don't mean nothing. Brother, may I tell you no. We're not going to do it. <laughs> this guy. I just, brother, I just know me, innit? Like if, if all right, all right, let me ask you this question. I know this is a personal question, but I need to ask you because of the situation that you're talking about. Are you telling me your missus has never hinted or even asked? I'm not, I'm not going to answer this question. It's not fair, my missus. Yeah, yeah, yeah this yeah. ain't blue story. Right. Yeah. Blue story? That's blue not therapy. fair. That's yeah. not fair. Yeah. Blue therapy. Yeah, that's not fair. Mm. All right, fair enough. Don't do it. That's 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 a, that's a fair fair and an honest uh, reply. You know me. I'm normally like, yeah. Blah, blah. You know what that's I think though. Fair. I think it depends on like two people's chemistry together. Do you know what I mean? Some people bring out a freaky side to them. Yeah, do you know what I mean? But it's not always freaky. Side. Sometimes a guy can do it based on the love he has for his girl. Yeah. You yeah. might not necessarily like it. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't necessarily <laughs> like licking pussy. But it doesn't mean I would not. And try you really it. don't like. I'm talking into the mic. Yeah. Well, I am talking to the mic. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know he's got off my case about the mic. But yeah, everyone can hear me. It's cool. <laughs> no, that was good. <laughs> no, but it's the truth. Man's like this and you can't hear him. And no, but like, you know what? Like, I can't answer this. So I'm going to ask more you and, and Ethan, yeah? Whoever wants to answer it. Like, real life scenario, because it does happen. If your girl actually approached you and was like, look, it's not really working in the bedroom and it is actually really affecting our relationship. I want to start like new horizons, new boundaries. Are you telling me, yeah, for the sake of your relationship, you know, you've got, you got a child, you know, you, you're I'll potentially getting married. You've been with, with her this amount of time. You know, you can't just be throwing it away like that. Mm. If she come to you and asked you, like, you know, this, this broad and our experience, are you telling me that you're not actually going to try out a love for your girl? Yeah, of course. Oh because no, 100%. Let me but let me ask the question. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Mm. Yeah, I would. But she ain't coming nowhere in my back or my toes, bruv. <laughs> what? Bruv, I'm ri- bruv, listen. 
<laughs> no. It's just a no, bro. Right, so it's she won't. No, no. Okay, so she won't come near your batty, but what about you going near her batty? No way. So there's no point in even saying what you just said. What? There's no point. What? What more anyway. can you do without them things? Well, if I said I've never lit pum pum, so that could be a new challenge. <laughs> 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 Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying, bruv? Like, what do you want me to say? And it's mad, bruv. a new challenge. Yeah, bruv. <laughs> oh, my days. Nah, you know what? That's fair enough. What about that's you, bro? Fair, that's fair. I think personally. What about you? From what? Uh, man's damage. good with his hands. Like, I don't need to just be and be like, yeah, that's it. I'll got, I'll my tell hands, you what, yeah, my hands I, are good. I'm I, too far off doing... I'll try other things, but I'm too far off something happening like that to myself, personally. <laughs> because... Even when my girl tries to like slap my bum or grab my bum, you know those dumb ones. I get angry. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, either. it burns me. I, just, I really feel Hate uncomfortable. It. I feel uncomfortable. But I just but don't. I just don't it, like them type of things. Like I see it in the street, and I'm just like, Ugh, I don't like that. I would do things out of my comfort zone if it meant saving my relationship. Yeah, but I would hope that we could save relationship by talking or sorting it out. Like you know the maddest thing though, right? Like. I had the same mindset as the majority of you guys in this room about that particular thing, yeah? Like, I just weren't interested. It was like, I was like, nah, no way, right? And it, funny enough, like Adot said, right, it happened by accident. You know, like when they're going down, you know, playing with the balls and all that shit. And I was like, oh, and I'm not going to lie to you, big man ting, like, I actually slapped my ex for doing it, yeah? And then it, it, it digested in my head. I was thinking, shit, you know what? Didn't actually feel too bad, you know? And then, boom, Bob's your uncle. Do you know what? <laughs> there we go. On YouTube. There we go. That's me. Fuck okay. it. I'm still not With doing chest. It. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not even going to lie. With chest. With chest. Mm. Man ain't doing it. That's cool. I respect that's just, it. And that's just me being real, innit? Yeah. Like, I'm not saying I won't do anything else. Yeah. But I, I, that's, that's one thing you won't do. Listen, my missus ain't coming in. My batty ain't going nowhere. Nowhere near here, batty. I'm not going there. I want to ask you a basic question, though. Is it the end of the world? Huh? Is it, it, it ain't, the end of the world? It ain't the end of the world. It ain't the end of the world. Does it make you any less of a man? No. I but think, it's just not for me. I, think, I just know that it's just not for me. Do you see that. what I'm saying? I, like, there's certain things in the world. Like, you might not necessarily like fast cars, but fast cars is for me. Hmm. Yeah, and there's loads of things. Like, you might like designer. I don't like. I'm not really a big massive fan of. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. So yeah. some things are for some people, and that's some things, things ain't. Yeah. You know what I mean? I that's think true. personally, that isn't too bad. Mm. But if, she, if your girl turns around to you and says, "Yo," I think like, Adol stick his nose in there. As well. no, don't don't be, <laughs> don't be serious, guy. I think if your girl turns around and says, "Look, I want to put a sh- you know strap on and like, bitch, mm. you fuck you," mm. I can't lie, she's getting fucked out that outside the house. She, she ain't coming back in. No chance. That's that yeah. for me is a serious no go because yeah. that you know you said like you you know you said like for example you don't like your girl slapping your bum for example. Yeah, like, like in a sense, yeah. it makes you feel less of a man. Yeah. I'm gonna. Assume. Oh, it's not even that. I just, I just feel sensitive about that. No, no, but that, think that about it. If you like, slap your, if you slap your girls, uh, sorry, yeah. if you slap her bum, mm. it's like a sexy thing, isn't it? Mm. Like for you, mm. for her. Some yeah. girls don't but, like that, though. No, some girls don't. But a majority of the girls like that. Flip it around now. For me personally, it makes a man less of a man. Not necessarily less of a man, but you get my point. As in, like you're slapping my bum when really that's a man thing. That's a manly thing to do to a girl. Yeah. So, but a lot of the time it's rude. Girls like that, bro. Jimmy, girls like that. Listen, I think when you when you go on different horizons with different things, I think it's down to comfortability. Like for me, it's being into a, like a proper relationship for me in it, you know, and being yeah, comfortable yeah, with I mean. the girl that I'm with. Not like Not some doing girl. it every every thing that you meet, you know, like a friends of benefits thing. That's no, that's, that's a bit that's, that's a bit mad. Yeah, but that's wild. That's wild. You have to have that 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 chemistry. Yeah, hundred, bro, hundred, and, and, and feel that you want to go to that that next level. Mm. Got me. Come surprise me with another another hit one. I know oh, you got that no, laptop no. open and Bro, be like, there's, right, there's, there's, do you, would you like this? And only, would you like there's, that? There's, there's, only, there's only so long we can talk about how you're can not Can I ask you one question then? Can I ask you one question? Would you wear Ilford tracksuit? <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Well, would like you, a, would like you wear academics? No, no, not even academics, but black academics or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> would you wear that? No, uh, personally not. Okay, personally cool. No. Would you? You know me, I'm, I'm... Would you? Don't don't even say big man thing yet. I would, you know. Like, realness. No. Okay, would you? There he goes. That's and it. I won't eat batty, bruv. So there you go. Yeah. Respect it. That's it. That's it, That's it innit? I, no, one will, no one will copy Chris's swag, so. Yeah. Sorry, Chris. I'm so sorry, brother. Yeah, let's 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 leave him out of yeah, it. Yeah, let's move swiftly yeah, let's on. Let's move it on. Let's mm. move it on. So me and um me and uh well she was on the way to uh Eastbourne the other day. He helped me get a little something. Uh a residency. 
Well done. Big up. Help plug that. Well done. Just pointed him in the um, right direction. Pointed me in the right direction. Well Helped done. it out with someone well else done. with another name. I'm not going to mention that person's name on the podcast. That's well done. Us. So well, well done to them too. Well done. That's it. Well done. Um, and I owe money to Walshy for petrol. Well done. Well, Walshy drove um, you. Yeah, he drove me, yeah. No way. Yeah, he chauffeured me. Man um, drove you. That's the must have been the nicest thing you've done. <laughs> no, no, no. What, listen, <laughs> Walshy's a lot of things, yeah. But I didn't expect that, so, bro. Yeah, he broke the Yeah, he broke He was my agent, basically. He brokered the deal, you know, put it over the line. That's it. Agent Wolf. Yeah, and he's happy just, in the just, just because he's, <laughs> he's done something good, isn't it? But now my question is, are you going to ask me for that money back? <laughs> What, you still haven't wait, sent it over yet? One second, one second, one second. One second. Let me answer for Are you serious? Time. Yeah, it was, I saw Ethan. your request in my Monzo today still. Ethan. I sent it Ethan. when we went Nando's. One second. Yep, there you oh, go. I was I just about to say that. It. Yeah, you better fucking request. <coughs> yeah. You better send it yeah, over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Ethan. So you're not going to bust me? What? You're not going to bust me? Not that. It's Rona right now. I'm on universal credit, mate. Ethan. Oh, there's, so there's, <laughs> there's a way around that, bro. Yeah. Food. Turkish. Food. Oh, Turkish. Little sheesh. Do you remember that? Or Nando's? Yeah, we're not talking about like... A little ten pound mill. We're talking about a platter, rude boy. That's yeah. what we're talking about. <laughs> so would you say there's the boundaries to borrow money off your brethren? Well, no, 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 essentially, no. that's me borrowing. Money. I mean, I've never borrowed money off my friends, but what I'm trying to say to you is, if let's just say he does you a favor, or you do him a favor, and let's mm. just say I don't know, take you somewhere like he's born. That's yeah. what thirty five pound petrol, for example. Yeah. Yeah. For example, really and truly, instead of him, I mean, I know he's gonna request that money from you. Mm. But if you're like, you know what, let me take you, let me take you at dinner. Yeah. Like a nice place. Like a. Can you talk in the yeah. mic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right, but for. Um, but for example, yeah, though, yeah, I get what you're saying, but for example, which might cost you 25. I didn't, Sam. he didn't obviously notice that I haven't given him the money back. I actually only noticed today because I saw the request thing, yeah. <coughs> but are you going to chase down your boy for money? Are you that type of person? I'm not personally because I've got money, but it which depends one? who the person is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I knew you was coming. I what knew you, you was coming. What do you say? <laughs> no, nothing. So. Rich man. Right. <laughs> so you're, you're not chasing. Like, not so you're not, you're not no, chasing. No, no, no. Look, if we all go out, yeah, and no one had, let's just say them, you know, they call whatever. And I said, cool, I've got you lot. Pr- Principal, you guys should be approaching me, yeah, because I've paid for the meal, or whatever, right? Okay. But I will not chase you. Mm-hmm. But if two weeks down the line you still ain't paid, then I'll then I'll be like, you're right, big man. Like, what's going on? Okay. That's how I see it. Yeah. But I wouldn't chase. So you. can I ask you a question? If you done a an, if you DJ at someone's event and they didn't pay you that and happen. you messaged them no no that wouldn't happen and I'll tell you why and you mess no 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 wait 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 it does you, happen no, wait let no yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna oh give you an, I'm gonna give you days. I'm gonna oh no 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 because I see something I know exactly where I know you're going I see well. something Do you know this I see something on my Probably phone oh. I see something someone sent me something on my phone what was it yesterday so you know what I sent you. Oh, uh, yeah. That person, yeah. That, yeah, I know, that I know where this yeah, is going. Yeah, now. that person hasn't paid in. Right? Yeah, I know, I know. So, you told me. Yeah. so if someone didn't pay you, because it does happen, yeah, not, yeah, yeah, do you chase them down or do you just say, you know what, karma's a bitch? All right, let me answer that question, right? Because I know how certain people move, mm. when it comes to private bookings, yeah. first and foremost, deposit of wherever it is mm. that we agree on. And then one week before the event, you pay me. And I'll tell you why I do that. Because first and foremost, I don't want to chase you. Mm. What am I going to do? Pack up and then chase you. You're probably drunk. Yeah, yeah. It's not going to work. Mm-hmm. Probably gone. Okay. <clears throat> the only place that I go to DJ and I get my money a week later or wherever it is, is the clubs. Because mm. the clubs, I know I can get my money guaranteed. Yeah. Private bookings, before the gig, you have to pay me. Yeah. Simple as that. Can I, I just say something? Right, do, you like that. That. do you work like that? Do you work like that? That's how I work. Do you work like I'm, that? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to like elaborate on what he did and ask you a question, right? So obviously, for those that don't know, I run an event called Culture. So when I have my DJs turn up, photographer, videographer, they get paid on the night. Because i tell you what, the reason why I do that is because I wouldn't like waiting a week, two weeks later when allegedly the ticket money drops. I think that's a piss take. Someone needs to be paid on the night. Yeah, that's it. Full stop. So when it comes to private events and shit, it's techie. But I wouldn't take that shit. I wouldn't, personally. What do you mean? You wouldn't take what shit? Like I wouldn't let I wouldn't let someone tell me that I'm getting paid the next week or someone mm. trying to make me chase them down for my piece. Yeah, like it's not what? gonna run. I've got bookings, right? Like a private wedding booking. Like no, that's different. Booking. No, I'm no, not no. talking about like a private wedding book. I'm talking about in sense of From like any booking, just say for example, just for example, like culture. And then he was booking you. Even just say you didn't know him. You knew him, like, but you weren't brethren's. And then and then my man said, "Yeah, yeah, I'm okay, gonna book you." Okay, hold on, and hold he on. booked you. Okay, let me answer that no, question. wait, wait, wait. I'm just gonna give it. A, and he booked you, 
And then you've gone there, you've done your thing, you sh- you've you fucked it up, and a man says, Wait, yeah, who's, yeah, who, me- who, who no, told then, you fu- you fucked it up? You, well, you the crowd, that. the crowd, okay. not 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 uh, him, not not yeah. not him or her or whoever it is, yeah. Mm. You've the crowd's reaction, mm-hmm. yeah. I see what you did there, bro. <laughs> Who? I'm being a dickhead. Sorry, go on. No, Karen. no, he's just been a. He's yeah, a, being a, a I'm being an asshole. Don't ignore me. Go yeah, on. no, bro, you just want to lick it. But yeah, so <laughs> <laughs> so basically, oi, <laughs> so oi, basically, oi. yeah. I can't remember what I was even saying. Now I get what you're saying. Let me let me answer your question, right? If all she wants to book me, for example, for culture, mm-hmm. talking to the mic. Sorry. And um, <laughs> I always keep forgetting this. Sorry, ladies and gents. Um, so if Walsh wants to book me, right, that means he wants to book me. I'm not after him. So really and truly, if I told him my terms, because people do have terms. It's like when you you know, you know book an artist, they've got a rider. Mm. Yeah. You've got to accommodate what they want. Mm-hmm. So if I said to him, cool, this is my fee, and I, I would like to, um, I expect to get paid before. Mm. This, is how, this is how I roll. Mm. Then he's then got a, a decision to make. Does he want to do that mm. or not? But do you really think you're big enough in the scene to 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 to, to say that? Because I'm going to give you a prime example, mm. and I'm, and I'm not in a rude way, mm. like Westwood. Yeah, Westwood don't do that, and look how big he is. Mm. Yeah, so why do you feel like you are big enough to ask for that service? Because there's a lot of like. If I turned around to the promoters that I DJ for, I said to them, you know what, you man, you've got to pay me up front. Some of them would be like, yeah, Alex, you're good, so we know you're going to... But if I, if I said to them, I need the peas because I'm a bit short or whatever, then they'll bless me. But I couldn't turn around to a promoter and say to them, brother, you know, obviously I'm playing at your thing on you. Saturday. Right. I, need you to, I need you to pay me now. Yep. Because they're going to be like, rah, but how do I know you're even going to turn up and Fair do not. your thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because no matter... Because no matter, obviously, you got to remember, you playing at someone's event... Is promoting the event and yourself, yeah. I understand like that, yeah. so, like for example, when I do Red Cup, Red Cup is me promoting re- Red Cup and myself. So when you see my name on the flyer, everyone's like, "Oh, that DJ ADK's there again." Yeah, he's he's all right, or he's this, he's that, and whatnot. So really and truly, if they know that I'm gonna like, say for example, they know I fuck it up. And they see my name on the next flyer, they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, I want to go to that one because he's there." Do you oh, see what I'm saying? Yeah, so it's not it doesn't money doesn't come into it. Okay, hear me out. When it comes to certain things, okay, like you, when somebody hits you up, i.e., cultural, let's just say red cup, whatever, you know you're going to get paid mm. because you know who you're dealing with. Nah, you don't. You don't. You don't. Okay, come and say there's, there's a catch. There's a catch twenty two there, bro. And the reason I think the reason why you're saying that. Is because you know me being an advocate of culture, booking you. You know I'm your boy. You know that, that that's certified. Yeah. What he's talking about is if you go to like a promoter you don't really know, you just know of them or know them for a mutual friend. Yeah, yeah but go also just going off what you were saying before, before ADK put his input in, right? I don't feel like you personally in that position to kind of demand to be paid early. Do you, do you know what I'm saying? Not in a rude way. No, 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 no. I get what you're saying. No, no. Hear me mm. out. Let me let me rephrase that so you don't understand what I'm trying to say to you. In a sense of culture and these kind of events like you know Red Cup and whatever, I wouldn't demand mm. to get paid. I'm talking about more private corporate stuff. I.e. Yeah, wedding. that's different. That's yeah, different. No, yeah, that's yeah, different. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, I agree. No. I agree for with me, you. If Deposit. someone's coming for the house party or um, their birthday party, whatever wedding, mm. that I expect to get paid before because I'm not going to chase you. Whereas an event, I hear you. The event hasn't happened, so why you, why should I pay you before you even turned up? I get that. So I'm personally, I wouldn't request that. <laughs> However. I would uh, use my judgment whether I should accept that um, booking or not yeah. based on the person. No, but you can't do that. Why can't I do You that? can't do that. Because... If I've heard... The, listen, listen. Wait, wait. wait, 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 wait let me tell you something. No, let me tell you something. If I've heard bad news about my man and he doesn't pay... Um, Talking to the mic. Sorry. If, he, if, if I heard... Let's just say he's a promoter, yeah? And he doesn't <laughs> he doesn't pay his DJ, for example. <laughs> and then that... that and the, hold on, hold on. Adol's and fresh, isn't he? He's a freshie, bro. No, hear me out, hear me out. And then that same promoter now hits me up to come and DJ for him. But I've heard stories about him. I will turn around and be like, okay, cool. I don't mind DJing for you at your event, <coughs> but pay me early. Yeah, but that could be the catch-22 of you getting booked or not. You demanding too much yeah. on base of what you've heard. Yeah. The pro- promoter can turn around and be like, well, you no, know no, what? No, no, I'm not demanding it, too much. No, 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 no. But listen, some, some, listen most of the promoters don't operate like that unless you're a headliner. Yeah, so you can't be going as a resident DJ or a local DJ to a promoter and saying, "I want my my, my money up front because I've heard this this about you." You can't do that won't because work, he'll turn around work. and be like, won't work, "Fuck bro. that! I've got another! I've got all these other DJs in the queue that want to DJ for me." 
I'll, I'll let me let me just. I just want to put this out okay, there now. What, yeah. What, hold on. What would you do then if you know that this guy doesn't pay his DJs and now he wants to book you? Sorry. What, what can you I do? just say one thing? Me talking about this, I'm not talking about Red Cup because no, Red no, Cup. No, no, no. I know. Yeah? I know. Okay. I know. It's not that. It's not that right, at all. So you want to know what I would do? If I knew someone, big man Ting, if I knew someone had a bad reputation, I wouldn't go there. Thank you very much. There we go. That's, there you go. Basically. Now, that's happened. It's happened to me. And I'm not bad man. And I'm not going to be. I've chased my man. I've chased people. And they, they ain't answered the phone or they've they've read the message and not replied and all of that. But listen, like I said, I'm a big man. I ain't chasing you. But you know what? It's karma. Because yeah, karma's a bitch. it doesn't matter if it's a year, two years, three years down the line. If I see something, I if I see something, and I'll smile, and I'm like, yes. You got yours. Like, mm. what I sent you, mm. I'm happy. I'm happy, because now, when I turned around and tell people, when it happened, mm. and then I know there was a few people that was like, yeah, I'm still going to go and play and whatnot. Mm. Now they realise, like, what like, I wasn't I wasn't just exaggerating. It weren't just me saying it to be mm. bad mind or anything like that. But I'm, one of, I'm humble. I still see people, I still say hello, I keep it mutual because I don't care. If you can't pay me yeah. on the night or you can't pay your promoter or your DJ or f your photographer or whatever, then really and truly, you're only fucking out for yourself, not for me. Mm. Because now, if you, got the, the, you got to think about it. Lon East London and Essex and Central, all of them areas, the DJs that DJ there are very clicky. So if I don't know someone... You might, you might, you might. Mm -hmm. So really and truly, word will get it back. Because if I tell you, oh, that promoter didn't pay me, or this is this, or that shit, all that's going to happen is your mate might turn around and say to you, oh, I'm, I'm going to go here. Or someone's asked me to DJ here. You're going to be like, yeah, my boy DJ there, and X, Y, Z happened. Do you see what I'm saying? So people talk, bruv. Yeah. So Bad press, isn't it? That's it. Mm. That's it. And now look. So yes. I would, I would happily turn down a gig based on a reputation rather than getting mugged off. Yeah, but how would you know? You won't know about the reputation until you've played, and it's too late. Like me, I didn't okay, know. I didn't me. know that listen was going to happen. If someone didn't pay me and I've done my gig right, and they haven't paid me, and I've take, I've got to take a nail. I'm not going. What am I going to do? Shoot them. It's not going to happen. So me, I might just accept it. I'm, what I'm, I'm trying to say to you is, if I've heard stories about that person, and mm. this person isn't accepting my demand based on his reputation, mm. I'd happily turn down the gig. Mm. It's me, not going to hurt me, is it? I would just, I would ask for it. I just ask for it in the night, but. It's one of them ones. Like if 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 they've got a bad reputation, I'm not going anyway. But well, what I'm trying to say there to you, you is, that's it. How would you know about the reputation? If 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 you've had none of your if you had none of your other people, if I don't know about the reputation, then yeah. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna I'm gonna play and I'm gonna ask for the money after. That's it. There's no there's no there's no that's that's that can be said about any anything. I, feel, oh, I think with that situation, yeah. I think it's just you live and you learn, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. No, 100%. If, if you go somewhere and you've not done your research, you didn't know about this, you didn't know about that, then it's come to this occasion where. You know, he hasn't paid you on the night. He's told you, you know, he'll pay you tomorrow or next week when the tickets drop and he still hasn't paid you. It's an it's an L that you've got to take, man. It's just, it's then you know what you've got to do next time. Yeah, 100%. No, I, I, I've, I've got promoters I work with and they, they pay me two, three days after. And and it's it's an agreement. It's, it's, not, it's not even like a... I feel like you I'm going to have to start doing yeah, but madness to go get my money. But, but I like, know they're going to pay me. But it's like Red Cup. Yeah. I never, ever, ever talk about money. Yeah. Cause I don't bother. Because you see, you see how their man roll. They know me well enough mm. that if they forgot, I won't chase them. Cause yeah. they'll be like, oh, do you know what? I ain't paid him. I'll pay him now, and he'll ring him, say, oh, sorry, or yeah. he'll message and say, sorry, running late. Da -da. Like it's not a problem. And the mm. thing is, if you're that eager for the money, then are you are you DJ, like are you in the? Do you know what you're doing? Yeah, I think there's sort a, of I, thing I, as well. I was, I was. Did I say this to you the other day? Mm. I think there's a fine line between. And it's 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 why I find it difficult to talk to promoters about money when it's they awkward. ask, "Oh, how much do you cost?" or like a yeah. residency or whatever. I find it very hard because I don't want to seem like I'm just about the money. I actually enjoy what I do, and I, I'm actually going to play somewhere that I actually want to play at. Do you know what I'm saying? So if I go in and, and I'm money, 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 or oh, when are you going to pay me? Like, how does pay? Like, if for example, you're going in to meet someone for like a residency. And they go, oh, have you got any any questions to ask? And you go, and your first question is, so how do I get paid? That looks that looks shit to me in my eyes. Yeah, hundred percent. Do you know what I mean? You want to talk about is the money. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing. I think for me, the money aspects of it. I think if you do the job that they think you're able to do, yeah, then the money should just be the last thing on their mind because they just figure themselves. Do you know what? That DJ is mad. Yeah. So they they're gonna come back anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And then the promoter like. It's like you're selling yourself on the decks. Mm. Do you know what I mean? Like, 
we all know about we all know music we all know what we should play and what we shouldn't play if you can't read the crowd i think i said this to you the other day mm. reading the crowd within the first 20 seconds then are you sure that you're going to be able to do anything large it's like you said you went to bristol and you could clearly tell the crowd wasn't urban so you played what you felt was right for the crowd yeah mm. so it's one of them it's reading the crowd it's reading your audience like making you can see the body language, you can see how it's gonna build and what will work and what won't work. Don't get me wrong, you might play the one odd song that you feel like you can try and slip in and see if it will, will work, but it, it's one of them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But so I just think to myself, like, if you booked a DJ at Culture and you heard they had a sick reputation and they went on and they were pants, yeah, in your head you're gonna think to yourself, never again. I'll pay him, never again. Thank you for your service. Thank you. Later's. And then you're going to book on, you're going to book people that you feel that you know can do a better job, if you see my meaning. So it's one of them. Mm. There's there's a lot of DJs out there that think they're better than what they actually are. Yeah. No, no names. I, I, I do agree. But there are a load of DJs. It's, in it's why when I when I thought about the more life <laughs> uh, lineups. I can read I'll, you like a book. <laughs> but, 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 but listen, I'm not wrong. But listen, I don't care about saying names. Innit? I don't give a shit, bruv. Because are, you, are you really sure? Uh, I mean, I'm going right, to some names. All right, well, listen, you just said that with chess, so you got to follow through. Bro, with I that, don't man. mind, bruv. I'll say names, bruv. <laughs> Run it. I will say names, bruv. Oh, my God. I will bro. say names, bruv. Do you know what? Do me a favour. Don't. Don't. As much as I want you, you sure? to just yeah. drop some bombs. Don't fuck yourself. I really want to save your reputation, so don't. Yeah, just. My reputation, bruv, listen. I don't think you understand. You see, reputation and all of that. It don't matter if you've got a reputation or not anymore, bruv. You see how these kids are going around killing and stabbing people? They don't care about reputations. Reputations in the music game don't mean fuck all anymore. I'm telling you. What are you talking about? Right, listen, anyways. Just, I'm just saying in general. Yo, 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 music yo, yo, and, yo. and urban scene listen, and what they want to think hear is. me. If you want to drop names, drop them. If you don't, don't. But you just said you will drop names. I will drop names. Okay. If I feel it's the right time, All I will right, drop cool. names. Well, then I'm going to start probing you now you can probe me as yeah. long as you want but you only got half an hour bro so you better hurry up. anyone but in essex <laughs> but bear in essex bro yeah there's a bag of them okay. you raymond <laughs> 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 you pussy i like out. that i like that, I like that. that bear you gotta that one real quick <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah you dab it in sick <laughs> yeah, oh my days 100 percent chris this guy cracks me up. um <laughs> Uh, who else? Yeah. Um, <laughs> so dumb. Anyways, else big man Ting, can you um send that money over? Yeah, I'm gonna send it over. Oh wow, done now. Yeah, I thought that conversation was done 20 minutes ago. I know, bro. Man, oh, still forgot about that money, boy. He's thinking about that Nando's. I actually in did. Stomach, I actually bro. thought he did. To be fair, we was in Nando's. And I just, kept, I just kept it quiet. I'm one of the. I'm, no, I'm one of those people. I can't. I can't keep it quiet, man. I'm, I, I, the guilt. The guilt. It just. It fucks me up. I, I have to do it. I have to send it after. But there you go. You're taking away my holiday money. You know, I want to go on holiday. Things are opening up again. You're taking away my fucking holiday money, geezer. <laughs> Can't go turkey. Get my teeth done. So, do any of you guys want to go away this year? Obviously, there's been like the the red list, the amber list, the green list. Portugal's literally gone on back onto the amber list within the last 24 hours. The way things are going right now, in the sense of like, you got combat, you got quarantine, all this, and apparently the COVID tests are ridiculously expensive, like. Just to get are a COVID they, test. Are they not doing it? Oh, ah, oh the test. It's, it's, okay, yeah, 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 like it's mad. And then you got quarantine. Like for example, like last week Saturday was the uh, Champions League final. Mm -hmm. Chelsea fans, City fans went away to uh, Porto. Yeah, Porto. Yeah, yeah. They've now been. I don't know if you see the What's news. What's it called? Where are they gone? Where did they go? Portugal, isn't it? Porto. Oh, Port oh, okay. Um, sorry, I didn't hear that. You got to talk that in the market. Yeah, yeah, that's what. That's why I was just like, I didn't you, hear you. What, what would you say? Nah, you lot always on my case. Anyways, listen they to this. Portsmouth, so apparently. they not Portsmouth, Porto, Portugal. Oh, okay, that's okay. Okay. Right, so. Sorry, the lingo. You know the ones. Went down the seaside at Portsmouth. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Go they've all been sent a text today saying you got a quarantine for 10 days. Yeah, that's standard. That is it? Yeah, and originally they were told... Um, you can't. You, you don't have you'd to. Have to do not, yeah, you'd have to do that. So now they, they all have to pay for tests, which are expensive. Like, yeah. it's just a mad thing. So is it really worth you going on holiday? Like, imagine going, I don't know, Spain, for example. Mm. But you spend, like, three, four thousand pounds, realistically. And that's yeah. just not just, um like, your accommodation and flights and so on. You're talking um, your tests when you come back, the hotel, all of that. Do you I mean, feel like people are being too impatient right now to go on holiday? I mean, I, don't I see them. it from both points of view because we've been locked in and people do like going away to see family, to get away, you know, mental health things, whatever. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Uh, but do you feel like because these restrictions have been put in place to make 
things better in not just our country but other people's country as well because you know the variants flying around and stuff right do you feel like people are being a lot very impulsive to like just book a flight and just not even worry some, about the restrictions i think some people are taking the piss 100 mm. percent. like they just want to get out but then again if you guys remember the first party you went to or a brunch or whatever after yep. lockdown how did it feel when you got alcohol in your system you see honey's left right center music's playing it felt good. I can't lie to you, bro. I was emotional. I was like, I'll be bro. honest with you, I don't drink anymore, bro. Do you not? Mm. Well, I, d- I have a drink at home, but I won't drink at when I DJ and going out anymore. Fair enough. Well, I like to drink in it, Hennessy, straight up. Anyways, um, <laughs> but I felt, I felt, I felt emotional. I was like, bro, like we're, we're finally <laughs> out here, innit? I don't even yeah. want to get onto him, bro. I feel sorry for him. No, don't, don't get onto me. Anyways, listen to this, yeah. <laughs> so for these people that are trying to like get out of the country and go on a holiday, I cannot understand how they feel. Mm. Do you understand? Mm. Like, you just want to get out of the country and just do something. For us, our getaway from our homes and friends, well, not friends, but just where we live, for example, is the club. Mm. Some people, it's not the club. So for them, it could be another country. Mm. So you kind of got to see it from both sides. Yeah, but the problem is, right, this is the problem. This is why this COVID thing has been played out so much, right? The country, only a few months ago, only started taking things serious and started locking the, down the country with Mad saying pe- mm-hmm. certain people can't come in yeah, yeah. with flights like that, right? So why should people from this country be allowed to an- go to another country and potentially spread it uh, yeah. to, to another country? Right. Do, you, this, do you get what I'm saying? That's is, the this, principle. This is a message for Boris Johnson. Talking to the mic. You can hear me, yeah? Blondie? Right, listen to this, <laughs> right? Man said blondie, you know. Listen, listen to this. That poodle head, bro. He's a dickhead. Listen. This country should have been shut down from the get go. Mm. Okay? It's going to no, get no, no, locked no, off. No. Let levels. If you see Australia, bruv, the only infections they've got is mice running around, right? Mm. They ain't got nothing. <laughs> levels. That's it. <laughs> and it's not a joke. I ain't going to lie. If I they're in a second lockdown. Who? Huh? Yeah, what, Australia. But, uh, yeah, but do you know why? Yeah. They had one infection. They yeah. shut the country down yeah. for 10 days. Straight up. Just for, from one infection. We've got 5,000. So what do we, have? we need to have? 5,000 years of. You know what I'm trying to say? What I'm trying to say to you again is, yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> this country should have been shut down a long time ago. Mm. I don't mind this country being like we no one can fly out for two years, for example. I okay? listen, I'm not As a politician, long, on, bro. I'll give on, up. Hold on, no, 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 hold on. Listen to me, bro. Would you not rather the country's open as normal? Mm. We're all in a bubble, our own country, okay? Mm. Where no one can come in, we, we can't go out. Mm. But there's no infection rates, everything's open. Or would you rather how it is right now, consistent um, restrictions? But if you want, you can fly it. But if you want, you can fly in. Yeah, but that's the problem. This is what I'm saying to you. So Boris Johnson, you're a dickhead, bro. Suck your mum. That's it. Should've well, said Boris it Johnson's going to come back on his thing in the comments and he's going to be like, at least I can talk it to the mic, mate. <laughs> The thing is, right? We, listen, listen, the thing is, right? We can we can all sit here and, and criticize the top dogs. It doesn't matter if, it, if he's the prime minister or something that we do in retail, DJ, and whatever. We can always criticize, but we know what common sense is, right? If we're trying to get this corona thing, you know, down to a minimal where we can all go back to normal, why what why didn't they think about that as the first thing in, in at the start, like locking the country down? Exactly you my know? point. Even this Indian variant that's going around right now, that's pretty much derailing. June twenty first. Mm. They, June twenty first. He was supposed to fly. Okay, way. let me tell you. Let me tell you some background story. He was supposed to fly out to India. Yeah, but he oh. delayed. Boris Johnson. When this was all, they knew about this Indian variant from a minute. Mm. I've heard about it probably like mid March, probably even early March. Okay, but he didn't want to fuck up his relationship with India. Mm. Okay, to the point where it was so bad, he's like, look, I can't come no more. Mm. And then what did they do? Two weeks later, they put them on the red. Well, not even two weeks. Ten days later, they put them on the red list. Why didn't he do that before? I'll be honest with you, man. Yeah, I really like. I I hate to be this guy. I don't. I don't think June twenty first is going to. It's not happening. I don't think it's happening either. Listen, why are they offering our self employed people the extra money, the, the the next grant? Why is that? Why is that ready? No, that's just they're doing it to everybody. Yeah, but why are you doing it? Because I think that they're gonna just. Uh, I think they're gonna hike the tax up. I think tax. Oh, is oh, they've be already a said that already. No, 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 no. They've already yeah. said that already. They've already said about the tax. It's like for like, self-employed, it's going to go up to twenty-five percent, but it's more the the big corporations that are going to suffer a tax. I just don't understand. I just don't understand why they've got play, uh, something in place to offer me. No, nah, if you think about it though, if you think about it, it coincides when when things were supposed to, you know, where they've said the June twenty-first. It does coincide with that because the last self-employed payment that we got was late. We were supposed to get it in March, February, March, and we didn't get it till late April. Yeah. May even, I think. 
Yeah, like, no, yeah, yeah it, it was, yeah, it yeah. was. So it do, it does work out, but you know, I'm hearing both things, and I'm trying to see it the way I see it. And I'm not going to lie to you, I'm more towards it is going to open up June 21st. I hope so. Yeah, it I is. I think they've got no choice. It is. I don't because well, I think it. I think they would have changed it already, well, and he, then he I think they would have the stage two, which is obviously opening up sit downs and all of that rubbish. I think they would have delayed that. Well, listen, but to they this. haven't. He didn't. He said this. Is what he said, right? It's not so the infection rates are going up. Today was five thousand, which is the highest it's been like March, okay? He said it's not about that. It's about the people that are dying, which is mm. pretty much zero. I mean today was eighteen, but the other day was zero. Mm. The yesterday first time. was yeah, zero, yeah. Was it yesterday? Okay, mm. cool. Zero yesterday, but today was eighteen. Mm. And the people that are seriously ill in hospital. So it's not even about the infection rates. They don't care about that. Mm. He specifically turned around and said that today. Mm. I'll tell you why the country can't afford another lockdown. And the first one is financially. Yeah. The the country the economy will crumble. And second of all, the key workers, like, you know, your nurses, your doctors, and other key workers that work in supermarkets and stuff, they can't afford the country to lock down, schools to lock down, because who is going to look after their kids? They that's need true. to be at work. Yeah, that's true. So they can't afford another lockdown. It's not on the cards. Well, the thing is, he promised and he said irreversible. He better pray that happens, bro, because, boy, I'm coming for him. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I'm, I'm optimistic it will. But I, I will I'm, say I'm this. I will say this. Lie. I will say this, yeah? There will be another lockdown, but it'll be later in the year. I think it'll be just, I think it'll be November, December time. Yeah, winter time. A bit okay. earlier than that, but it, there think, will be I, another I, lockdown. I reckon September time. Want to do a wage job between the two of you? You think you both think it's going to be another lockdown? Want to do a wage job? I, I, I think there is. We'll, we'll put it out on the internet, you know? 100%. All right, All right, let me ask you a question. No, wait, wait, wait. 20 quid. Yeah, 100%. All right, when are you saying? What? What when are you what month? Yeah. September. I would say I said September. October. You can do you could do a bracket. October to October to uh, late September going into October. Okay. Between September and October. September to November. There you go. Twenty pound done. If it's ninety R, then you both got to give the twenty pound to me. Hold on, what did he say? September. But I don't know why you're wagering me and him together because we're we're saying there's gonna be a lockdown, and you man, you're saying which dates though? Oh, I don't know the dates. I don't really give a fuck about the date. There's gonna be a lockdown. It's gonna happen. Yeah, hundred. So you said September to October, and he said you said September to what? November. It's only one month. I think it's that. It's gonna happen between September and November. Sorry, fucking clever clocks. It's only an extra fucking four weeks. Do you know what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> Look, no, nah, big man ting, yeah. It will fuck, happen. Fuck, fuck the wager. It, it's going to happen. 100%. Yeah. Right. Be- Can I just, I just want to say something. Fuck this. Let's talk about DJing, bruv. Because man ain't no politician, bruv. I want to start slewing some man, bruv. I'll, I'll, I'll be honest. We ain't got that long to be talking about DJing. The How long we is, got? The time is. How long we got? Kind of uh, it doesn't matter, up. but it's time ticking. Yeah, time right. is very ticking. Listen. But if you want to go crazy for the last I wanna, I wanna, seven, I wanna, eight minutes. I want to say yeah? one thing. Run it. Run it. Go on. Last seven minutes, don't, go crazy. Don't hesitate. You, because you, because I'll be honest, I dare you. we wasn't even going to go back into this type of things, yeah? But you've brought it up now, so you cannot back down. I dare you. So you say what you got to say. He has dared you. I have double dared you, only based on you bringing it back, yeah? Oh, God. Do what you got to do. And, and, it's, and it's called Davis Chat. So. Um, to see how big your pigeon chest yeah. is. <laughs> Let's see. Pew. All right. So you brought that back up. You want to you wanna talk Pew. about whoever. Wow. So I don't. Know. I don't want to talk about anyone. I said I, I want to talk about the scene. No, you didn't nah, say that. You no, didn't no, say that. no, 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 no. You you're on, you're on camera, bro. <laughs> All right, I'm joking. I was only joking. I don't want to go in. Right, I'll put you in a predicament. I'm going to put you in a predicament. Now, yeah. If you don't start talking with your chest like you said you was going to, I will put something in the mix. Bruv, you can listen. You can say what you want, bruv. <laughs> put what you want. Say what you want. Hashtag in. keyword WhatsApp. What what's that? What one? To what? Him? Oh. To what? A dot? Who knows, man? What? We what can't. about which one? Well, it can't be I don't know. Uh, listen, don't worry about that. But l- let me just but tell you, you something. Don't, listen, he's trying to act like he's got something on me. You ain't got shit on me, bro. You I can say no, 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 no. I didn't say I got anything on you. Yeah. I'm just saying I've got something that I can say for you that you would potentially want to speak about. But oh yeah, go on. Big what's on? What's Are you that? sure? Yeah. Ah, oh, no names. No names. Are you sh- yeah. Or no. No names. No yeah? Names. Or no? No names. I don't want to play no names. <laughs> I don't want to call. What do you want to say? Go on, say what you want to say, bruv. No, come on. I don't mind. Nah, Listen, nah. I don't give a shit, bruv. Okay, how about this? I don't how owe this? nobody how nothing. About how about this? Speak what it is, but don't mention names. A certain promoter. Yeah, bruv. Them are idiot, man. <laughs> <laughs> Them bruv. If they can't pay, they can't pay, bruv. 
What the thing that what did he show you? You showed him. Uh, listen, oh, listen. Yeah, already seen it. Let me let me let me just put this oh, out. Oh, you already see that? Oh, bro, right, this this so come out this weeks thing, ago. But this yeah yeah I heard that right, and that's what I was talking about earlier on. Yeah. But the, what I was trying to say about it is karma. Mm -hmm. It's karma when yeah. you don't pay someone or you feel like you're too big, but you you don't realize that you're not that guy. Yeah, neither am I. Mm. But. You're not, you know, you're not that guy, and you want to act like you see me. I, I don't pretend, yeah. I don't act like I'm like I'm fucking rich and I've got this and I've got that and I've got this. I don't do that. And even if I was a promoter, I still wouldn't be doing that, mm. yeah. But I just don't understand why certain men feel like they have to live this lie to act like they're like they're bigger, than, like go to Dubai and and flash and rent a car and rent a watch and do like, bruv. That's not me, bro. I'm all right. not into that. Yeah. All right. But 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 all I'm saying is, if certain <laughs> man wanna go Dubai and flash, do their event, Hold do up. their thing, let good luck to them in it. Yeah. Yo. All I am saying Hello. is, <laughs> that's not me, bro. AJ. Yeah. Listen. There's a lot of DJs that watch this podcast, right? Mm. What's this podcast called? Say it with your chest, bro. Okay. Say it again. Say it with your chest, bro. I don't need to say it on my chest, bro. But you mentioned it. I don't have a problem. You went, you went oh, I'm going to... Okay, up, all right. Up? So there's DJs watching this uh, podcast, right? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. And you went for a particular problem with this promoter, yes? Yeah. This is a well-known event, yes? Mm. Would you save the hassle of these DJs going to this particular promoter so guys, after um, doing what he did to you? We, we are coming to the Bruv, end of the... Uh, no, 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 no. no, no, wait, wait, wait. No, let me just say this last oh, bit. Let me just say God. this last bit. Let me say, lever. <laughs> I'm leaving this to you. No, no, no. Let if me you want to bring this up. No, no, no. Let me say something. I'm not going to say the promoter, right? Okay. And I'll tell you why I'm not going to say the promoter. I don't want to give them no more hype than what they've already got around them right now. Yeah? They already fucked themselves. They didn't I didn't fuck them. They fucked themselves. Yeah? So me, me even saying their name... It's pointless because they're my idiot. And all these brothers in Essex <laughs> and, and East London and all these places that want to go and play for them, they're my idiot too, bro. They can go wherever. If they Birmingham, know, if they know the Manny, they know um, the Liverpool. They can go to the places and play for this brother. He might. They might even be paying him. I don't know, bro. I don't know, but They might be licking his ass. I don't know, bro. Physically, I don't know, bro. But what if you could save a DJ from going through the same position you went through? Bro, you, but you know what people are. People are not listening. That's fair enough. That's true. Would you? Uh, you list. It's different. You would understand. But if you don't really know someone, but you know of them, and you hit them up and you said to them, "Yo, big man, like my man don't pay you now, so be careful or make sure you do 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 do," mm. and then they looked at the message and was like, "Who's this idiot? Like maybe he's just a hater." Like I think we had it like about if you would um, help a help upcoming DJs and all of that. Mm -hmm. You can't really help someone that's at the same level as you. So. What is the point in me telling someone like, I don't know, someone in Liverpool, ah, oh, big man, like, my man don't pay you now, be careful. What's the point? Because they ain't going to give a shit. They're going to think to themselves, well, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a London or Essex promoter and they're coming down here and they're coming to our area. So I'm going to make sure that Liverpool stays on the map or Birmingham <laughs> stays on the map or Manny stays on the map. Do you see what I'm saying? So mm. what's the point of me saying anything, bro? Good enough. luck to them. All right, well, I hope is. they do it and they get paid. But all I would say, this brother, good luck to him, innit? I just wanna I just wanna I just wanna say, I just wanna reiterate about half an hour, thirty five minutes ago, right? You actually boldly sat over there yeah, and said that you was it. gonna say something with chest. You uh, was gonna out people. But I thought about it. I okay. thought about I thought of it I thought of it logically and me why am I giving somebody clout that fuck themselves? Okay. I don't need listen, they fuck themselves. Okay. What they done they fucked themselves. Right, so, so that just proved, and what I mentioned about them not paying, okay. social media says it all, bro. So what you just said there was a smart move. However, you said something with chess. So can you deflate your chest, please? No, no way. <laughs> I'll never deflate my chest. Because if I see the person in person, if I see them in person, then I would say, I, I wouldn't, you know what? I wouldn't even say anything. I wouldn't even give them, I wouldn't even give them the clout. I'll just say, well, mate, lovely. Lovely, 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 lovely Julian. Keep on walking, mate. Oh, so, guys, I do. I put my foot down driving past them. We're wrapping it up. Why they going to get the free? Right, I tell you what. So game. we've we've heard a lot from ADK. Just to wrap this up before we kind of like conclude things, yeah. I'm gonna go around the table and ask each and one of you what you would do if a promoter didn't pay you, whether it was a considerable amount of money, especially let's just say if it was in COVID, because we've all suffered with money financially, right? And we know that. You know, whether it's the normal rate that we go for or just a little bit less, it still makes a huge difference when we're, you know, in a financial difficulty. So, Adot, what would you do if a promoter finessed you? How would you go about it? Because you can take an L in normal times when you're up, 
But when you're down, like the shit we've been doing, right, and the promoter finesses you, for example, what are you going to do? I can be petty in it, so I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely out them, hundred percent. I will, I will embarrass them. Fact, I'm not going to do an ADK and just keep it quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Bruv, whoever this pussy is, who didn't pay you, say hi. Hey, say hey, hey, we oh. gotta do extra time, you know, Ethan. I'm not no, gonna lie. You're saying, but you're Christ. saying, you're saying about Yo. certain man. But listen, but it's pointless because when you think about it, why am I out in man? Why am I out in certain man? Listen, I don't live a lie. What you, what I've got Can is what you see. You know, no, wait, wait, wait. Uh, what, what I've got is what you see. I don't go and rent man's thing and says, yeah, yeah, like stunt. Ah, oh, yeah, this is all mine. Bruv, you never see me in a Lamborghini saying. Oh, yeah, this is mine. This is mine. This is mine. Unless I've hit the lotto, bruv. I'm not that type of guy, bruv. I hate you, bruv. You see what I'm saying? So me outing somebody, you think about it. Me saying something, just say I went on social yeah, media you know and right I said now? to them, you know what? You're a bat, yo. What am I gaining from me saying okay, that? I'm not getting my money. All right, hear me out. Hear me out, bro. You've been finessed. Yeah? <laughs> You've been finessed. Now, hold on Talking to the brother who went to Land Rover and paid fucking retail price for his car. No, I did not. No, Come on, bruv. How? This guy's talking to you about my Range Rover. Let's not go there, bro. bro. Yeah? I did not. Man said, talk about finessing. He wants to drive my car to Bristol. Yeah. yeah. He wants to drive. Wait, wait, wait. He wants to drive my car to Bristol, and I told him how much it is in fuel. Right. And he yo, 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 yo. Listen, 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 listen. listen, 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 listen. listen. Hold on. Hello. Right. Yo, it's getting, it's getting too loud, loud in here. It's getting too loud. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not bring cars. Forget cars. Hello. 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 Hey, Dot. Listen, listen to me. Look in my eyes. Listen. Yeah. It's not about cars, okay? Pick up where you left off from finesse. Thank you. Right, hear me out. Hear me out. If someone finessed you, bro, mugged your life because you haven't been paid, and I'm going to assume it's a... It's Brother, quite... whoever bleached your hair, they finessed you, cuz. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Whoever sold you that top, they finessed you, big man. Listen, oh, yeah. no, bro, no, you, no. Hold on a second. Are you trying to mug me? Bruv, you're I'm telling tell me you. man got finessed. Oh my days. I've oh, still it's got, starting, I've it's still starting. Got, I've still got more I've than big quiet. man. I've got store. No, Are no, wait, 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 wait. Wheel up and come again. Nah, this guy's a high yeah, yeah, one, yeah, one, one mic at a time, <laughs> yeah? One second, one second. Yeah, yeah. Bruv, hold on a second, yeah? Are you dumb? <laughs> I'm not mugging you off, mate. I'm not mugging you off. I'm talking to you. This guy's a fucking handicap. <laughs> he's he's <laughs> too no off on right. aggregate, bro. That's what I'm saying. When I've chopped this video, nah. that's the bit I'm shopping you, bro. <laughs> that bit is too funny. Listen, I'm not going to come back for you, but hear me out. Let me get to my point. come back for me, bruv. Whoever done your bleach, bruv, my name is them. not. My name Shoot is them, bruv. Yeah. Yeah. Or lick their batty, bruv. I don't know, bruv. You need to do something. Yes, step. the promoter didn't pay bruv, me. Cool. Say no hat. more, innit? I don't need no hair, bruv. Shut up, bruv. What is that, bruv? Shut up. Man trying to come like Pretty Ricky, bruv. What are you telling me? <laughs> Let me get to my point now. All right, get to All your right. point. <laughs> Bruv, this guy, whoever this guy is, who's a waste man, okay? I don't mm. know who he is, but he's a waste man. He mugged you off. He didn't pay you. Mm. So why on earth are you not men are you not why are you not calling him out? Because one, potentially you can save somebody else, okay? From the same thing happening to them. Okay? One second, let me talk. You could potentially save someone else from the same thing that happened to you, which was you being mugged off. Yeah? It's five in the morning. <laughs> 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 All right, go on. No, but I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying, Adol. Right. No, yeah, on a big man thing. I know what you're saying. You don't want to give them clout. This, but that's not the point, bro. I know for a fact your, your chest is burning right now. So just not, let it out. It's not, bro. bro. I'm not lying to you. It's not. It, 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 it probably was once upon a time when it was fresh. Yeah. But now I how definitely long, know okay, he's over how that How long shit. ago did this happen? Oh, I don't know. About two years ago? Two, two and a half years ago? Two years ago? Yeah. Bruv, let's stop talking about that bullshit then. It's two years ago, but what I'm trying to say no, is... No, but what I'm trying to say to you is karma. Because two yes, years I ago believe in karma. and a couple of weeks ago, you see what you see on social media. Mm -hmm. So what I'm trying to say is it's karma. I don't care when it is. Okay, so I, don't, I don't need to do something to you or promote you or say mention your name. Like, I just I believe in karma. So what goes around comes back around. So if you don't want to pay me, one day you're really? going to fuck yourself. Mm -hmm. yeah, but that is I what's happened. That. Can I just say something, right? I, I hear what you're saying, but the reason why certain people come forward was because, you know, they felt violated. Everyone feels different and people react differently, right? But when these certain individuals come forward and out of this guy, it gives people the confidence to therefore come out and discuss their problems as well, right? Yeah. So I feel like it's important to let people know. Like, knowledge is power, bro. Let me tell you something. I don't give a shit it's about telling everyone my, my my business. That is why I'm not outing anybody. If you if if people wanna if people wanna out him and do this and do that, let them do their thing. But you see me, bruv, I see him, I smile. I say hello, I keep it moving. Do you know why? Because I'm the bigger man. 
I'm a bigger man. I don't need to. I don't need to out him, out him. I'm doing. I see him. It's, 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 it might be this. Or it might be that. Bruv, no. All right, I can't cool. be asked. Ethan, what would you do, bro? If a promoter finessed you, and like I said to A dot a few moments ago, you know, there's two different scenarios here. Yeah, when we're like, you know, doing our normal DJ schedule, we're up. You know, mm -hmm. we're up. But the last year, it's been tough in it, mm. right? If a promoter shattered you, didn't really know him, he finessed you, didn't give you the peas, you're like, shit, I really need that. That makes a difference, you know? What would you do? I mean, to be honest with you, mm, yeah. if I got finessed, firstly, I'd ask them for the money. Right. Yeah. But he's ignoring you on WhatsApp. Ignoring sorry, me. Sorry, can I just Whatever. say, can I, sorry, no, wait, sorry, can I just cut in? Sorry, sorry, yeah. sorry. Another reason why I didn't care so much was because I had a full time job that was paying me good money. Yeah, no. Sorry, yeah. I wanted to just cut that in. But that's cool, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I'm being honest with you, totally honest with you. There you go. Yeah, everyone's different, isn't it? You Let's know? Be honest. I'm not going to lie to you. I'll probably do the same thing as ADOT. I can't lie. I'll yeah. fucking out them. Real I'll, talk. Yeah, out them. I'll let it go. Because there's no point in beefing over whatever the money yeah. is, unless it's a lot of money. Like mm. if, if 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 the guy owes me, a, let's just say a grant upwards. Oh, no one can. Oh, no, no one can ever yeah, owe I'm me a saying, grand. I'm not for me, you know when people say they, do you know when DJs have been in this corona and they've been like, yo, the club owes me four grand. Yeah. How the fuck does a club owe you four grand? Yeah. How me, many times have you played at that free, club yeah. over the, yeah. a period of time and, that, and yeah. just gone? Okay, no, we let's just keep racking it up. Let's just, what the fuck? I'm not gonna lie, I'm not I actually know a few clubs that have racked it up for a few DJs. That's crazy. I actually know a That's few crazy. clubs that have done that. If you if if you're a club, for example, like for example, we were speaking the other day about yeah. you getting the payment for last Friday. If they haven't paid me for last Friday and he wanted me this Friday, you can't see me this Friday. Yeah, this Do you get what I'm saying? Pay that. Yeah, you yeah. pay that, yeah. You work on the next one. Mm. You can't you can't build up a a, a, yeah. a damn Bro, build. All I'm gonna what say is hell? yeah, if somebody it's mugs mad. you off. Yeah. yeah, and takes the piss out of you by not paying you. Yeah, you should be within your rights, and it's not an embarrassment to out them. Okay, mm -hmm. you might just be like, you know what, it's an L, and mm -hmm. take the L. Because look, there's two. I'd rather take the L, but I'll feel better outing them mm -hmm. rather than just keeping silent. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Because one, I could I could potentially be saving somebody else from that shame, you know, shit happening to them. Mm -hmm. And two, his name is now out in the public domain. Okay, mm -hmm. can, I, can I say one thing now? I'm laughing. Do you know why I'm laughing? Because yeah, I lost a bit. I lo yeah, I lost the, the the gig money. Yeah, but who's lost more right now? Me or that person? When you look at the bigger picture, if you see what's going on on social media, I'll show you afterwards. Yeah, if you see it, you've seen it. You've seen it. Mm. Who's lost more, me or me or that person? Yeah, now he's lost that more. But yeah, but, though, what's yeah, but I was still gaining. It never know. bothered me. You see what I'm saying? I'm not saying I'm rich and I've got money, but what I'm trying to say is, is that if you don't want to pay me, you'll never see me again. And that's exactly what happened. So it's simple as that. You didn't pay me, you don't see me again. That's but it. when you do see me... If you're an upcoming DJ, use your mind. Simple as that. And, and, and do don't listen research. to ADOT. <laughs> Why does that sound so basic? Yeah, it? No, but it's true. you got to do your research. He's one, one, one of them YouTube adverts. That's, like, that's basically <laughs> that saying, if you're a DJ... You Serato. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. If somebody wants to so book you, just be smart. Be That's smart it. about it. That's it. Be uh, smart. Message A dot. He'll, he'll sort it out for you, yeah. mate. Lads, take a fee. No, 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 coming, no, 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 forget no, no, that. It's coming got, to the end of that we time, but you got Agent Walsh. He'll sort it out for you. Let's this get guy, some bro. advice off the Mr. Experience. Anyway, lie. boys, we are coming to the end of it. Um, I need to thank you guys for being on. Lovely, you guys man. today gave exactly. <laughs> What, what we needed, what we needed, and mm. what we thought you would give. Yeah, um, it's it's just a shame that you had to wait. We had to wait an hour for the argument. I was yeah. I was hoping for an argument yeah. mid midway. Yeah. It's all nicey nice. Personally, I thought I thought me and you was gonna argue. No, oh, no. me and Wolves, I thought, but no, but we agreed. Oh, you agreed to argue with him? No, no, we agreed to like we you agreed really we agreed on we agreed on like the times. Like we've got more of an understanding. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Got you. So try to thank get you guys. Me, try to get at him for coming on. This was Kimmy, DJ ADK. Oi, oi. Mr. I got finessed. <laughs> <laughs> DJ A dot. Pretty Ricky. <laughs> Five in the morning. <laughs> well, she's a DJ. Close. Licky, licky. <laughs> <laughs> and your host, Ethan Port. Um, the, one you does, guys, the one that doesn't like his bum touched. That's the one that doesn't let his bum play with. Yeah. So um, if you guys are viewing this for the first time, uh, please go back um, and look at the previous podcast. I think we're on episode like seven or eight now mm. anyways go back watch them like them subscribe to the channel subscribe. comment on the videos subscribe, subscribe. 
let us know what you liked about this one if you liked the discussion and all them things there anyways until next time uh, you're going to get two cameras on the next one 4k 4k um, sorry about the one camera angle again um, but yeah we are signing out peace peace peace